All right, let's do this again. Um, I could have just folded up shop and gave up because my signal was bad. I'm going to start all over again. And this is the top three things that I teach every real estate agent to help them get a jump, a head start in the real estate game so they can become successful. So stay tuned with me here, guys. I'm going to drop all those things for you. But this is Ozzy Ramirez. I'm with Agents Empowering Agents. I'm with the AskOzzy.com real estate a team uh, here in EXP Realty in Houston, Texas. And let's get down to it. So the top three things I tell people that they need to know in order to be successful in real estate, and the number one most important thing, guys, is tenacity. You, you got to have what it takes to push through. This business is not easy. You're an entrepreneur. There's a lot of things you're going to have to learn. There's a lot of problems that are going to come your way, things that you need to work on. And you, you have to have the fortitude. You have to have tenacity to push through these, thing, these things when it gets difficult. You have the basic problems in life that are going to punch you in the gut. Then when you choose to be an entrepreneur, just being real with you, you are asking for more issues. You are asking for more things to come your way. That's just part of being an entrepreneur. So number one, if you don't believe you can make it three, six, nine months, a year, two years, three years of getting your butt kicked, you might want to think about another industry. Just being 100% honest with you. The number two thing that I teach people is the way you get trained, the way you get educated, the way you grow in real estate is very important. If you are getting into the business and you think, well, I'm a perfectionist, don't, don't do that. How many people come out and tell me, well, I'm a perfectionist. I don't want to take on any clients. I don't want to service people. I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that until, until I learn everything, Ozzy. I want to make sure I know everything. I want to make sure I know about contracts. I want to make sure I know about uh, how to show a house. I want to make sure I know how to represent a buyer or a seller perfectly before I take one. Here's a problem with that. You will never be perfect in this industry. I've been doing this 17 years. I've moved over 1,500 pro properties. And I'm telling you, there's somebody out there. There's plenty of people out there that have better listing appointments. They have better buyer consultations. They have better everything than I do. I am not perfect, and I will never be perfect. But I'm telling you right now, I'm a lot better off than day one when I got started. You want to know why? Because I didn't wait for perfection. I just got into action. That leads to number three. Number three is start and focus on lead generation. I'll say it again. Start and focus on lead generation. Lead generation comes before everything. Why is it? Why is it the lead generation comes before everything? Because here's the deal, guys. You can go to everything, guys. You can go to every course. You can go to every training. You can go to contracts, classes, title classes, mortgage classes, all these things and get amazing education on how to be perfect real estate agent. But if you don't have any clients, you're just a really educated, broke-ass person. So I'm asking you to stop being that person. Go out there and start generating business today. Have as many conversations as you can today. Why is this so important? Because... It, People get in this business, and the reason why they don't make it is because they don't make any money. Everybody has a, a, a runway of when they need to get their business off the ground, when they need to get everything taken care of. When they get all that done, right, then they have a successful business. But if they don't get it done in time, they crash, they burn, they get out of the industry. So always be lead generating. And some people say, well, what is lead generation? What do you mean by that? Lead generation can mean anything, but really, if, if I can break it down to the science of lead generation, it's having communication with human beings, calling people, not just cold calling. Cold calling is a part of it. If you want that to be part of your business plan, calling people, emailing people, text messaging. The biggest one is um, video text messaging. Also, putting plenty of content out there, social media. you got to do all these things. Push all this stuff out there. That's your lead generation. If you're not willing to do this, I don't know if you're going to make it in this industry. So, also what I want to cover when I'm talking about lead generation and getting out there, this is a conversation that comes up a lot. As people say, number one, I don't want to bother people. Right? Happens a lot. And number two, people say, well, I don't want to just make all these calls and make all these calls. I'm not that kind of time to salesperson. It's because your mind isn't wrapped around these two ideas properly. Number one, you bother people when you don't have value. So find out your value. If it's not in contracts and all that other crap, your value is in the fact you have a good heart and you want to service people. Use that, then contact people, and stop thinking you're bothering people. Bring them true value and you won't be bothering people. Um, number two, we talk about lead generation. People say, I just want to call a bunch of people and this, that, and the other. Here's the deal. 
and people don't recognize this, this is a huge one. Here's the deal. Your relationship with human beings is the sum of your conversations. I'm going to say that again. Your relationship is the sum of your conversations. That's not just for real estate. That's for everything. If you don't have relationship with your, if you're not having conversations with your wife, with your family, with your brothers, your sister, whoever, guess what? You don't have a relationship. So have conversations with people if you want better relationships. So if you look at the conversation and calling people and lead generating, all you're doing is building relationships. Who has a problem with building relationships? And if you do have a problem with building relationships, you probably shouldn't be in real estate or be a salesperson in real estate. So think about that for a minute. When you think you're bothering people, bring value, number one. And whenever you don't want to just get on the phone and start calling people because you're like, well, I don't want to be that person that, that just is a, is a bothering salesperson. Guess what, guys? Your relationship is the sum of your conversations. So go out there and build more relationships. Have more conversations with people and have fun doing it. If it's breaking bread and having lunch, if it's sending Popeye gifts, if it's text, video, message, or handwritten cards, whatever it is, go out there and build some relationships today. So guys, those are the top three things I can tell you that people need to move past in order to be successful in real estate. I hope they help you. If you want me to elaborate on them, give you more ideas, hit me up in the comments, message me, text me. I want to help you grow any way I possibly can. Every resource I have in this industry, all the education and knowledge I want to share with you, I need your help on that. So hit me up. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Have a great day.